Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. How's everybody doing today? We are talking about my different sayings and today we are talking about um, <coughs> that the saying that I believe all behavior is because of an unmet need. I believe that with every cell in my body that people with dementia express themselves through their behavior. When they can no longer verbally express themselves, maybe they still have some verbal abilities, but they're not able to express emotion through uh, verbally. Um, I think that that, I think that it absolutely comes, it comes out, it's manifested through their behaviors. If they are lonely, if they are sad, if they are angry, if they are afraid, <clears throat> I believe that they express that and many, many, many other needs through their behavior. I believe once you figure out the unmet need, if you solve the need, you solve the behavior. I have seen it over and over and over in my practice and I have lots of videos about it. Um, but I, I, I firmly believe that. <coughs> I need a drink of water apparently and I don't have anything beside me. Um, but yes, people have noticed that I say that a lot um, and because it's one of my basic tenets is that I believe that behavior is because of an unmet need. If a person has a need for connection, um, you know, they might shadow you. Um, and people, people with, um, that have taken care of a person with dementia understand what shadowing is. They won't let you go anywhere. They won't let you go to the bathroom. They won't let you go outside. They won't let you go to work. I mean, they just get so anxious and they want to be right beside you. They want to do everything that you're doing. That is a behavior called shadowing. And I believe it is because they know that you know what's next. You know everything about them. You know their name. You know their date of birth. You know their address. You know what's next. You know when their doctor's appointments are. You know when the Price is Right comes on. You know when they're going to eat next and what they're going to eat next. And they don't want to lose sight of you. Um, obviously, there's a thing called object permanence that people with dementia lose. Toddlers are developing object permanence where they wouldn't understand if you left the room, they don't really know where you go, right? They think you disappear. Well, people with dementia um, are losing that ability to recognize object permanence that you are not, you have not disappeared. You have just gone to another room, right? So shadowing is a very, um, a very, um, a, a very clear expression of, of, of how this works in a person. Um, so an unmet need of, of fear, um, of connection, there's lots of things that happen with shadowing. Um, you know, they just, they need to know where their person is. Um, and if they don't, um, then that's an unmet need. So you meet that need by saying, you know, mother, I am going to the bathroom. I will be back when this timer goes off. I will be back from work when the hands on the clock are at three o'clock. Something like that, whatever works with your person. And you may have to, you may have to experiment a little bit to see, you know, I will be home as soon as the days of our lives go off or something. I don't know what it would be, but something that they can count on um, every day. Um, you know, we are going to eat breakfast right after we take our bath. Um, that is another, you know, building on thing where you're meeting the need of what's next. It's, it's lots of things that you can do that with, but that's one of the things. So I believe that behavior is because of an unmet need. Meet the need, you solve the behavior. So that's another one of my sayings, okay? I hope y'all are enjoying these. I'm calling these grace notes. And we'll do one more this week. I'll have one for tomorrow, and then we'll go on to something else for next week. And then we'll be scattering these in and around, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.